The year is 2318. The location, the skyborne metropolis known as Kaldoria. The Earth is finally at peace after a long, bloody battle against a few tyrants who sought total world domination. Having learned the hard way the evils of imperialism, the borders began to come down one by one. Finally, in the year 2117, the unified world was realized. Now, all that we have accomplished is being threatened by the power of time travel. Realizing its potential for destruction, the very same Democrats who initiated the building of the time machine immediately discontinued the project once they saw a working prototype. Temporal travel now being a reality, they brought the time machine to a secret location and formed an agency to protect the flow of history. The project, codename Journeyman. Once again, it's another beautiful day here in the peaceful, skyborne metropolis of Kaldoria. And unless you've been trapped in some kind of time warp, you know that today marks the culmination of ten years of debate, as all of Earth awaits the arrival of the alien delegate from the symbiotry of peaceful beings. Their goal? To welcome the entire human race into their interplanetary alliance of sentient beings. Our Megan Love is at the Capitol building right now with a live update. Megan, Megan, can you hear me? I'm right here. Thanks, Johnny. Ten years ago today, Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sorolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they called the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. The purpose of this alliance, they said, is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return. All along the streets of Kaldoria and here in the Capitol building, it's amazing, Johnny, there are thousands of people gathered hoping to catch a glimpse of the Sorolan delegate as the procession heads this way. We've heard various rumors that a fleet of ships have already been detected on long-range radar and should soon be arriving. And with each new rumor, the excitement here seems to grow tenfold. Back to you at the studio, Johnny. Thank you, Megan Love. 
This morning's broadcast was brought to you by Future Cola, the choice of a peaceful generation. I'm John Ego, and you're listening to the mellow sounds of WKIM Too Big. Global Transporter, Caldoria Heights Apartments, Sector 3. Searching for opening transport route now. Route accessed. Upon entering, transport card will be required. Thank you for using Global Transport. Detected in transport. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Please insert your global transport card now. Choose a destination. Preparing destination transporter.
Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Completing molecular reintegration. Thank you for using global transport. Global transporter vacant. Verification of cranial contour scan. Verification of central cortex scan. ID scan confirmed. Welcome, Agent Ty. Your fourth late arrival has been verified and logged. Please report at once to the command center. Mandatory review session scheduled. Activate upper left monitor. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created which originates when travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave and could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present.
Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits, though, allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. So as a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. And to ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter Version 1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian, full-time physicist, Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel now being a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and use the bio support suit generator. The biosupport suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. Next, get your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from the cabinet next to the biosuit generator. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. After you're outfitted for travel, but before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving there, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, head back to the Temporal Security Annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log, which was left behind to be altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution, though. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history worse than it already has been, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically important objects from a time zone. And above all else, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Warning, warning, warning.
Select a destination from the listing on the left monitor.
Fourth late arrival. I will assassinate.